especially if you think about an aging population that's at risk of like sarcopenia and frailty, hip fractures, et cetera, muscle is that currency. Even if you look at longevity conversation, it's gonna boil down to strength, VO2 max, and body composition. Yep. It is sort of as simple as that. But one thing I think is important to, to know is things like with, with testosterone, we are always advocating for physiologic doses, right? Whether that's male or female. And that's important to remember in the sense that, again, I'm, I'm gonna pick on GLP-1s a little bit, at these really high doses of GLP-1s, often you have like four times the amount of typical GLP-1 crossing the blood-brain barrier, right? Like we can't advocate for something like that in testosterone where you're at running at four times super physiologic levels. Like we are just talking about physiological levels and replacing what the body doesn't have. We're not manipulating genes on or off in that sense. And that's why the safety profile is at physiologic doses really clean because the body knows exactly what to do with it. It's not sent into overdrive and figuring out how to compensate in different directions. It's, it's relatively straightforward.